So what does not-for-profit actually really mean? So before I start, this is not a defence of Beringer. But I do think there is a distortion going on by people who seem to look for an opportunity to have a poke at Beringer. This rant is related to an article I read earlier this week uh, about Aturia's Key Step and Beringer's Key Step clone being sold for the same price. And how can this be if Beringer claimed to be a not for profit organisation? The poke was that Beringer are making a profit if they are selling it at the same price, and therefore they are not for profit. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram and follow me there. Go over to Facebook, follow me there. That's where the normal notices are. And consider becoming a Patreon. But what is profit? What is the concept profit? Well, if I go back to my accounting days, profit is a very simple term. It means that the cost to produce the goods is less than the cost you sell the goods at, and therefore by definition you must make a profit being the difference between the selling price and the cost price. But when you get into the realms of a company, the definition of profit has caveats. And it has several caveats. The first of all is the profit is um, <clears throat> has to take in, has to take into account capital investment. Capital investment is the cash you lay out on something that can be used to produce something long term. It could be buildings, it could be machinery, it could be intellectual property. There are many different forms of capital investment. But you have to take into account a piece of that every time you make something that uses that piece of capital. Um, this can be prototypes, it can be all kinds of things, but that also has to come into. You then have another concept called research and development. Research and development, how much does it cost to actually develop the concept? And you might never actually find that what you've done becomes a sellable product. A lot of companies do R&D to prove something and then shelve it. And maybe the concept will be used at some point later, but the actual R&D itself gets written off. And then you've got non-product related costs. How do, you pay your how do you pay your staff that don't actually make anything? This could be marketing, it could be finance, it could be... Um, management, it could be all kinds of, of different things that aren't directly related to making the product, but they still have to come into the mix. So there's a number of different things that come into whether a company makes a profit or not. So what, I hear you say. So what indeed? But the bottom line is a not-for-profit organisation does not mean it doesn't make a profit. Because by the very nature of producing product, you must make a profit. If you don't make a profit, then you won't be producing any more product. It's as simple as that. What a not-for-profit organisation actually does is it takes any money it makes and it reinvests that money in the company. It doesn't pay out to shareholders. It doesn't um, pay out long-term um, owners, etc. if they're not shareholders. It effectively keeps that money and keeps reinvesting that money back into the company to produce more products. Typically, we would, we would turn around and say a not-for-profit organisation is a charity. But charities still need to make money. They still need a surplus of income over expenditure. Having taken into account all the costs, and companies that say they're not for profit still have to do the same thing. They still have to make a profit. If they don't make a profit, they're gonna go bankrupt. It's as simple as that. 
you've got to also take into account with not-for-profit organisations all the same commercial considerations that you would take into account if you were running a profit-making organisation. It's just that some of the cost, cash flow, overhead that a commercial organisation will have, a not-for-profit organisation might not necessarily have. So if we take the example and go back to that original statement about Aturia and Beringer making the key step, both companies need to make a profit. One company, the Arturia product, will be making its profit to be able to pay dividends to the owners of the company, whoever they may be. Now that could be financial institutions, it could be private individuals. I don't know the, the structure of, of Arturia. However, I do know the structure of Beringer. Beringer is owned by a guy called Yuri. And they make a very bold statement that Yuri does not take any money out of the company. So therefore, that money is reinvested. It's reinvested through the capital cycle, through the R&D cycle, through the development cycle of product, through all the other things that go. But they still need to make profit. And this is my point. This is the reason why it gets my, it really gets my back up when people make statements like they're not for profit organization and they're making a profit. The reality is if they don't make a profit, they won't be around. And if they won't be around, love them or hate them, you won't be getting any more of the products they make. And that's the point about not for profit. Not for profit doesn't mean you don't make a profit. It just means you don't distribute that profit in the way a normal commercial organization would distribute it. You put the money back into the company to allow the company to grow. I hope that clears it up because it really annoys me that people try to make a moral stand on something they really don't understand what they're talking about. And on that note, I'm gonna turn around and say, on this one, live long and prosper. Bye-bye.